YouTube. So I wanted to give an update of where I'm at, even though not much has changed. Um, I am still wearing a cast because the doctor initially told me to wear it for six weeks. Today is actually three weeks exactly since I ruptured my Achilles tendon and everything is fine. I mean, I have no pain, um, which is a good sign. Um, I am still going to work normal. I try to do less hours, but I, I still work. Um, I'm still wearing, I'm still using the eye walk, which is very convenient. It's a lot better than the crutches because I'm, I'm free handed. So I'm able to, I'm able to show workouts a lot better. Uh, even though the knee still gets a little tired, it kind of gotten used to it. I have a pillow on there just to make it more comfortable. Um, but, um, sometimes I sit if there is like a seat, uh, right by me when I'm training somebody so, uh, I could rest the knee. Um, uh, also I feel like, um, so far, um, I'm still being patient. Uh, the doctor, uh, still wants to see me in three weeks from now to remove the cast, to see how the tendon has healed. Um, and I've actually done a lot of movement of my toe. He did tell me to do that, to crunch my toes a lot. Um, and I do feel like they're very strong. Um, I push down into plantar flexion and I feel a lot of strength there. Um, the cast, I think has loosened up this past weeks that I've been wearing it, maybe from maybe atrophy of my calf or um, from moving it, moving side to side so much because I've been moving it a lot. Um, I'm a big believer in early functional rehab, which is what I've read. Um, it's the best way to do it if you're going the non-operative route just because it reduces the chances of re-rupture. I'm a big believer in early um, partial weight bearing. I've done it before in the past when I've had my knee surgeries. So I feel like doing early weight bearing helps a lot. It's supposed to line up the collagen fibers of the tendon and promote a better healing. Um, so I actually made a wedge out of styrofoam um, and it's pretty much under my heel and I put a sock over it just so it stays. And also I just grab the crutches and I just do very limited weight bear, maybe like 25%, like nothing, nothing crazy. Um, it doesn't hurt. I don't feel any pulling of the tendon, so um, it feels good. It feels comfortable. I'm not um, encouraging encouraging you guys to do it, but it feels good to me. Um, like I said, I'm a big believer in early weight bearing. But um, other than that, I've taken a lot of vitamins. Um, I'm taking, for example, Legoplex, which I bought in Amazon. It's like forty dollars a bottle. And it's supposed to help with ligaments, with tendons, with muscles, just the whole musculoskeletal system. And um, I, take two, I take two pills after a big meal. Um, and I'm just trying to take whatever I, I can to promote a better healing. I do take a vitamin, of vitamin C, actually very tasty. Um, and uh, besides this, a lot of fruits, you know, a lot of fresh vegetables trying to keep my diet as, as good as, as possible um, so I can, you know, a lot, again, help with the heal, healing process. Um, I've looked up um, PMF, PEMF, which is electromagnetic frequency. It's supposed to be uh, very good also. Um, and I found out about this with one of my clients. She's actually, um, she was in a car accident and she, she's paralyzed from the waist down. And she did a lot of this therapy with this PEMF. And it's a machine that she has. It's like $5,000 machine, very expensive. But she has actually agreed to let me borrow it because she feels like it helped her a lot um, with, with her movement of her legs. She can't walk um, because she can't extend or flex her knees. Um, her hips are weak. 
um, but she does have a little bit of motion in the abduction abduction of her hips. She has she could move her her feet her foot her ankle. She has a little bit of dorsi dorsiflexion and plantar flexion there. She um, and she she, she feels like if she did it a lot more, she it would be even better. But she doesn't really use it. But she told me she's gonna let me borrow it tomorrow when I see her when I train her, and I'm gonna try it out. Um, Again, I'm trying to do whatever whatever I can to help the the healing. I know I keep repeating that, but um, I'm trying to I'm trying to beat this this, sur this surgery route. Um, but um, other than that, I've been working out a lot. I still do three times a week. Obviously, I don't play in the weekend anymore. But I've been working out Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. You know. Um, I do, I do, I, I try to modify everything. Like I do a lot of kneeling on my good knee, obviously. Um, um, I'll do a lot of sitting stuff. I just, I'll, I'll mix it up, pull-ups, you know, everything. I'll do it all, just making sure that I'm, 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 I'm safe with the, with the leg, right? The leg is in a cast, so it's, it's, it's pretty safe. Where is that? Um, actually, I won't. I actually won't. Obviously, put so much pressure on my toes. No, standing with that one toe because it's. I mean, that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't be good. But um, I feel like working out helps me clear my mind. Helps me motivated. Keeps me motivated. Um, it's something I enjoy anyway. I will, obviously, I don't want to get fat, so working out, eating right, is is going to actually help with the healing too. With the, with the with the with the mind, um, it's all about staying positive, um, and then just just going through it, going through the process. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Um, I think that's all. Uh, I see my I see my practitioner, my doctor, in three weeks um, to see how the the tendon's doing. Hopefully, it's it's all healed up. I can get in that boot. I can start more, you know, more a range of motion exercises, more weight bearing. Um, I'm gonna try to put a link um, under the video uh, with um, a protocol of, 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 of doctors who use the non-operative route. And I'm gonna try to put maybe that PEMF therapy video so you can take a look at that. Um, and that's all. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm fine. I feel good. I feel I feel I feel confident that this is going to to go the best way possible. Um, and and I think the rehab process is, is going to be critical and it's going it's probably the most important part. And if if I do it right, I should be fine. Um, and I work in a gym setting and I have all the tools. I have therapy there. I have a pool. We have it all. So. I'm pretty sure that um, everything's gonna be all right. So I'll try to post another video. Um, I think just when I get my boot on, because so it makes no sense to, to, to be in this cast and not be able to show you guys what I'm working on. But um, once I get the boot, I'll make a video um, and tell you all about it.